What's up guys? I hope you're having an amazing day so far. Thank you so much for coming back to visit me in my little corner of the internet. Today's video is going to be a first impressions where I show you how to do this makeup look. Today's video is in collaboration with Lancome, so thank you very much for supporting my channel and let's jump into it. Well, I hope this works. This is my first time shooting into a mirror in a long time, so fingers crossed this is all right. Let me know if you guys don't mind this format because it definitely is easier for me to set up. I'm going to start off with a brand new primer. This one is from Smashbox. It was sent to me in PR, and it is their Photo Finish Foundation Primer. So it has a bit of a peachy tone when it comes out, and let's see how it goes. This definitely feels like a bit of a stickier primer, which I kind of like because I feel like those types of primers, they just seem to work better for my type of skin. Um, for reference, I am a usually combination oily skin. Um, I've been a lot drier as of late through the middle of my face, but um, yeah, it feels like I have to kind of press this to work it in, but it feels like it's done a good job of kind of priming and creating a smooth surface. Since we're already on the priming train, I'm gonna prime my eyes using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer. I think it's called Fix. I believe portions of the sales of this product goes towards helping women. So that's pretty cool. If you're looking for an Urban Decay Primer and you already use one, you may as well try this one. Then I'm gonna bring that all the way up to my brow bone. And I'm gonna take that also underneath, just a little bit underneath my eye. All right, next up, I'm trying a product that I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous to try just because it's my foundation and I'm so picky with foundations. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I was sent this from PR. I haven't purchased Wet n Wild since I was a teenager, but I'm really looking forward to see if this will work because it looks really good in the bottle. There is a paddle, so I'm going to scoop some product out onto the back of my hand. I feel like this color is actually not bad. Let's see. This is actually not that bad. Color-wise seems okay. It's a tiny little bit dark, but I think once everything's on, it'll be fine. And it seems to be applying pretty well. I do think that this blends in quite well to my skin. I was kind of expecting it to sit a little bit more on top of the skin than it does. Um, a lot of the time I find that drugstore foundations kind of sit on top of me and then take a second to sink in. Um, but this seems to do a pretty good job right away, blending right into my epidermis. I'm actually really pleasantly surprised. I think that this is going a lot better than I thought that it would. I don't know, I just have like like high school, not even high school, like middle school memories of Wet n Wild. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you guys do. I don't really like the smell of it though. That's definitely something that's a downside. It's not like overpowering, but it does just smell like like dull chemical. Um, but the product looks really good on my face. So I think that if you were buying a drugstore foundation and that was within your budget, this is not a horrible choice. But let's get the rest of the makeup on before I make that definitive decision. Okay, I'm really excited for this next product. Everyone talks about it on YouTube, but it's not sold in Canada and I hadn't gotten a hold of it yet. This is Tarte's Shape Tape, and oh, I'm so stoked. My friend Angela sent it to me. Thank you very much, Angela. And I am in the color light medium, or I hope I am. Let's give this a go. I think that if I wanted to do like the like brighter under eye look, I definitely would have to go for a lighter color. Can we just for a moment talk about how friggin' huge this doe foot applicator is? Like I'm pretty sure this is the biggest I've ever seen on a makeup product. Let's try that amount and go from there. Oh, that's nice. It's like a drier version of the um, NARS Creamy Concealer that I really like. Like it just feels like it sets a little bit quicker. I can see why people use that like drippy oil stuff that you see all over Instagram um, if they're working with a lot of products like this because I feel like it definitely would allow you to work with the product a little bit longer before it sets. This product is like just like set. Well damn, I definitely think that my base is a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Cool, let's do this. That's the only scary thing about first impressions videos is that you do go to a lot of effort to film and then you want it to turn out. So, okay, I'm glad so far. 
This is good, this is good news. So the next thing I'm gonna do is set my under eye area and I'm using a new product. This one is from Tarte, it is their Born This Way setting powder. It is a loose powder, but it has one of those really handy little trap doors that kind of like holds everything in place so your powder doesn't go everywhere. So that's really cool. I've just dumped some into the lid. Using my beauty blender, placing that under my eyes. And I'm gonna follow down the contours of my nose as well. I'm also going to set where I have a little bit of acne just so that when I do any type of cheek work, it's going to not stick on that spot. So I'm gonna head in with a little bit of color on my face. And I'm gonna use a product I haven't used in ages. Um, I don't really grab for it that much, but I'd like to change that. It is the Australis Australis. Why can I never pronounce this damn word? <laughs> it's their AC on tour contouring kit. This is like all the rage in Australia when this came out. So I am going to give this a go and do some ish on the face. I'm gonna start off by using the bottom corner color. It's like stupidly pigmented. I don't know if you can kind of see, but um, I'm gonna be really careful with how I apply that because I forgot how pigmented ah, that was. And I'm very gently applying. Ooh, ooh, that definitely didn't apply as well as I had been hoping it would. Just looks dirty on me. Oh no. Maybe that's why I don't grab for this. I mean, I didn't like love, love, love this product when it came out, but like it was so popular that I thought maybe it's just me, I'll keep trying to use it. Like, I'll try it with other stuff. And now I'm just thinking like, did I really need to continue trying this? Well, I'm not a huge fan of how the darker color went on me, but let's try the lighter two colors just to um, see how it goes. This far corner color is a shimmer, but it doesn't really have that much of a shimmer. It's more of like just a sheen in my opinion. Um, let's give this a go. Well, it's definitely pigmented, but I feel like it is the kind of like light color that will flash back. All right. Well, the under eye definitely is, I think, better than the darker color. But yeah, that darker color, I mean, I don't remember it being that bad. Maybe it's just with this foundation. I don't know. I just feel like it just looks really dull and muddy on me, but yeah. I'm gonna jump into a new blush that I'm so excited to try. It is the MAC Blush in Peaches. I've heard so many people talk about it online, so I am really excited to give this a go. This blush is super similar to the Melba blush by MAC that I'm in love with. I'm going to put on a second blush just because I'm feeling really extra today. I really just wanna try it. This is the Cheeky Bits blush. It's the Extra Dimension blush from MAC. And I'm going to put that kind of on the higher points of my cheeks. I don't want to go over everywhere where I put peaches. Ooh, that's really pretty. I need to blend it way more, but that's super pretty. So I'm going to hold off on doing my highlight. I'm going to jump right into doing my eyes. And today I'm using the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. And I didn't purchase this myself because I honestly thought that I owned too many palettes that were too similar. I was sent it in the mail a couple of weeks ago by Too Faced and I'm so grateful that they did because I, I honestly don't think that I would have taken the time to actually go out and swatch it, which was a mistake on my part because it's super pretty. So thank you very much Too Faced, this is gorgeous. I'm going to start off by using the shade Peaches and Cream onto a big fluffy blending brush and applying that right into my crease. This palette really reminds me of all the colors that I used to wear when I was in my early 20s. I don't know what it is. The, um, the peach color reminds me of the first MAC eyeshadow that I ever owned and that was Expensive Pink. I am going to pick up Candy Peach on a fluffy blending brush and start to apply that into my crease as well. I just kind of want to keep it in a very like circular shape. Onto a smaller blending brush, I am going to pick up the same color, Candy Peach, and just bring it underneath. Mm -hmm. 
onto that same smaller blending brush, I'm gonna pick up the color Puree and do that a little bit more tightly in my crease. I don't wanna blow the color out, I just want it to sit like right in my crease to darken it up. Onto a tinier little pencil brush, I'm gonna pick up the color Summer Yum and just apply that right close to my lash line on the bottom. I'm going to concentrate the color on the outer third though. I'm also going to take a tiny bit of that color and run that into my outer V just in my crease. I'm using a clean blending brush. I am going to make sure that everything's all blended out. Using a small eyeliner brush, I'm going to pick up some of the Tempting color and I'm just going to stamp that along my upper lash line, just halfway. I don't usually like to bring liner all the way in unless I'm doing like a full blown cat eye and even then like I, I've been really kind of stopping doing kind of path there. Um, I just find with my eye shape it just closes my eyes off a lot so if I kind of do it from like the color outwards or like where my iris starts and out it just seems to look better on me in my humble opinion <gasps> oh no i bumped my camera well hopefully that didn't change <laughs> you too much my computer was running out of battery so i had to plug it in and i just knocked my tripod anyway so onto a sweet little tiny flat brush i'm picking up the color nectar and i am going to just gently kind of place it in my inner corner and drag a little bit of it onto my lid. I don't want to go all the way over with it, but I do kind of want to have that inner little portion where I didn't line have that pop versus having it a darker color. I'm also going to take that underneath and just kind of connect to where I put the under eye color as well. And get the eye booper out. I'm gonna lip chap my chappy lips. Ugh. And I usually would do a brow highlight, but um, I got my brows tattooed last week, so I've kind of stayed away from placing product immediately in my brows. So I think that I'm just gonna brush my brows up and leave it from there. I'm gonna curl my lashes. And for mascara, I'm going to use a new product that I've seen quite a bit of a splash about online. It is the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. And I'm excited. This is quite the, uh, quite the promises. It says that it is 12 times more volume than just bare lashes. I don't know how to calculate that, but that seems like exactly what I want. So let's give this a go. Well, I like the packaging. Ooh, and I like the brush. It's one of the good kinds. All right, let's do it. You guys know I like these big brushes, so I have high hopes. Ooh, that's really black. It applies a decent amount of mascara, but not so much that it clumps. That actually is pretty sweet. The brush itself is really, really soft bristled, which you guys know I prefer. I mentioned in my empties video, a couple of the mascaras that I've recently tried have been really, really stiff, like spiky bristles, and those just really don't do it for me. <laughs> I like big brushes that have like super soft bristles. I just feel like it grabs my lashes way better. I'm just gonna let this dry for just a sec and then apply a second coat. So this is ophthalmologist tested. Is that how you say it? Ophthalmologist? <laughs> and it is supposed to be 24 hour wear, though I don't really know if he's going to be wearing a mascara for 24 hours, but that's a pretty great claim. So I definitely will have to update you guys on Twitter how well this entire face lasts. Um, let's go for a second coat. <laughs> Well, I can definitely say that this is a really nice mascara. I feel like it does exactly what it says it's gonna do. It makes your lashes big and bold. My lashes are so big that it touched upon my eyebrow. I'm gonna leave the bottom lashes because I feel like that's kind of the look that I'd like to go for is more of like a big bright eyes look rather than full eyes. 
Um, I'm going to jump into doing the highlighter that I missed out on earlier. And I'm again going back to a Wet n Wild product. If I can open it up here. It is their highlighting powder in... Uh, what color are you? Precious Petals. Alright, let's do this. That's pretty good. Wet and wild, step up your game. You guys, that's pretty, that's pretty blinding for a drugstore highlight. I'm really quite impressed, you see that? Yeah. Just for giggles, I'm going to grab some of that on my fingers and just apply liberally. Whew. And that totally makes a difference with how much it shows up. I'm going to use the Maybelline Master Drama Eyeliner just in my upper waterline. And for my lips, I'm going to use the Long Calm Juicy Shaker in the color Manic Orange. Alana got me onto these. If you guys don't already watch Alanarama, you need to. I will link her down below. I'm actually wearing a ring from her I believe it's pronounced Mergery, Mugery Jewelry Collection. It's beautiful, but anyway, when we were on our Coachella trip, she got me on to the Juicy Shakers. Girl, let me tell you, these are pretty long lasting. So, let's do it. I'm only gonna apply a little bit and then spread it out with my finger. Cause it's a lot more pigmented than you'd think. And I just want a little wash of color. All right, and last but not least, I'm trying a new setting spray, and this is the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray, made with coconut water. Oh, that smells really good. Mmm, it's like coconuts. Shouldn't have probably sprayed that with my lens right next to me. That just kind of brought everything together. Oh my god, that foundation it actually looks really, really good. Hold on, I'm gonna show you guys close up, and then this is basically, this is a finished look. Let me just zhuzh my hair. Shush. So here is my final look. I think that it turned out really well, and I'm loving the monochromatic thing. I don't know, like I just, I'm really into kind of keeping everything in the same color family. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's first impressions. Don't forget to leave me a like and a comment if you did. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys very soon in a new video. Bye.